All right, everybody, this is the second playthrough I was talking about. So, quick fair warning, I've already seen, like, I want to say maybe the first, I want to say the first half of the game. I've already seen that, I watched some other guy play it. So, I kind of already know what's going to happen. But first of all, I know how this game was advertised. Get to take some water real quick. But, uh, I saw that it was free to begin with, so basically anyone can play this and experience the horror that is this game. But I actually suggested to some friends on Discord, hey, you guys want to watch me play this game? And they're like, fuck it, yeah, do it, do it, dude. So here we are, we'll do this. So we'll start a new game. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it kind of just works out because you've known each other for so long. Why, why would that be a question? I don't know, whatever. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. You're an asshole, dude. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> nah, dude, like, it, it's friends like this that you should always cherish. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sari catch up to me. Ah uh ha! -huh. I overslept again. But I caught you this time! Maybe. Oh, by the way, the main character's name is Jones. Gee, I wonder if it's a certain hacker we know. Anyways. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh! You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me, Jones. So a little context, I tried to do a playthrough this early one morning, but I just wasn't feeling it and I was still trying to get used to the new microphone. Oh, by the way, I got a new microphone! Yeah! Uh, got a pop filter too, so hopefully that works. And I hope, I hope, dear God, the audio quality is good for this one. Because I'm really excited for this playthrough. Anyways, that's mean, Jones. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. See, here's the thing, there's like multiple ways of saying that. Like, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, I, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Like a fucking Sundari, or there's like just straight up saying it uh, as it is. Like, I just do. It's like, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But, you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Okay, you're not wrong about Jones. Why do you say, Sayori? <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the street becomes increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Because all schools in these kinds of games and anime are within walking distance of everyone's houses. By the way, Jones, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs, especially since the school uh, withdrew the funding for the hacking club. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you'd join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Jones, you're making a terrible friend right here. I mean, fuck it, I'm a little guilty of that too. Myself? But, goddamn, dude. Uh, I think I skipped some stuff. Hang on, let's history. Okay, never mind. Did I? It's sh sure it's possible. Never mind, I didn't skip anything. Sorry you likes to worry a little too much about me. We're not perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. You see, Jones, this is where you and I agree on stuff. See, like, I'm not going to get into it, though, but, like, I agree with that. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Gee, Jones, you're lucky. There's a cute girl who's worried about you. Me? I'm already in college and already screwing things up. Uh, your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to, real, to the real world. 
Sayori, stop predicting the future. Like I said, I've already seen the first half of the game and I know her fate. I just spoiled it too. But I'm, I already know, like, that was one option that the uh, other player chose. So, like, he chose one option, I'm gonna choose the other and see if that changes things. You trust me, right? Okay. If I were in this situation, obviously not knowing, like, what's actually up with this girl, I'd probably dismissively say, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll put forward the, I'll put forth the effort, personally. But the thing is, like, I don't know their entire history together. And I forgot to set the goddamn timer, so this will, this episode will run a little longer. Stop watch. Oh, anyways. But I'd probably be like, yeah, okay, I'll join a club, and I'd probably see if there's like a chess club or something. That's me personally, because I'm halfway decent at chess. I tried to join an anime club once in high school. I only stuck around for like two days, didn't like how things were going. And then just kind of bailed out. I then spent the entire school year in my second period classroom, because I didn't have a first period, because, um senior privilege, so I was allowed to, like, say, okay, I'm not gonna have, like, a first or seventh period, because we had seven periods, not six in my high school. Anyways, that's enough story time. Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right, all right, Sayori. Jones gets it. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! I can't do I can't do that. And it's like 6.34 in the morning. Why do I get... Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I, I don't know, Jones. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. Buddy, cute girl, next door neighbor, cute girl, next door neighbor. I'm fairly certain most guys would. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little bit. At least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Boy, you have no idea. The school day is as ordinary as ever. The protagonists in 1A kept damage to a minimal. Uh, and only half the school's destroyed today, so that's good. But anyways, the day's as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things up, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Now, see, this is where I and Jones will differ. I do have my own motivations, okay? I do have my own aspirations as well. But dude, like, fuck it, you, you gotta find some motivation. You are gonna find a motivation, uh, but I don't think it's gonna be a good one, Jones. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club! Don't do it, dude. Do, like, chess or Dungeons & Dragons. That's a game I want to get into, <clears throat> but I don't know if I can, like... You kind of have to know people, I think. Or you could always go to, like, one of those Wizards of the Coast sanctioned places and, you know, play it. That's kind of nice. I don't know if I'll have the time for that, though. Hello! Oh, God, my voice. <clears throat> Sayori! Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Because I'm in classroom 1B, and she's in 2B. Wait, hang on, I'm forgetting. Isn't it here? So it'd be 2B and 2C. Like, there's... Fuck. I don't know how these classrooms work. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. God, and I thought I had friends. Like, I mean, there was the Smith, who I sit next to. What the fuck, Smith? You're supposed to help me fight days out, sitting here in the back of the classroom in the protagonist seat. You know the one I'm talking about, the one where uh, the protagonist always sits like the very back of the classroom by the window. Yeah, I sit. I chose that seat because I watch too much anime. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Okay, Sarah, so but with, like where I'm sitting, like the very back next to a window, though, you'd either have to peek through those windows right there or stick your head in the door. But whatever. Honestly, you're worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Sayori, that's not a good thing. I'm like, that's not a good thing that I'm worse than you sometimes. But, uh, that's besides the point. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Oh, fuck, I, she's doing the blush. I have, to, I have to do it. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know know what? Sayori? Did you sell my soul again? 
Well, you can come to my club! Sayori! I would have preferred if you had actually sold my soul this time. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Meanie. I can't do that. Eh? Because, I mean, like, I, I don't have the vocal range, and if I did have the vocal... In order for me to do that expression, the eh, I would actually have to vocalize more than I currently am. And to be honest, I'm probably talking up a storm right now. But I'd actually have to, like, really vocalize myself. Like, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? I can't find the word. But basically, I'm going to say, like, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Oh, come on, dude. Literature's fun. Like, there's some aspects of literature I don't like, like fucking poetry. I'm sorry, I can't write poetry worth a damn. But I do have a respect for literature, though. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. So you're 100% sure you have no interest in literature, Jones? But you're a hacker. You had to read all those manuals, so you do have an interest in literature. Just not a conventional one. Oh, for those of you who are wondering, uh, Jones is the name of the hacker from my System Shock playthrough that I'm currently doing. Just thought I'd let you guys know at the six minute mark right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go to the anime club, Sayori. You're you kind of stuck doing that. It's freaking me out. Come on, please. Why, why why do you care so much anyway? Like, I mean, why? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member, and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Hold up, cupcakes? Did you say cupcakes? Sayori, first of all, don't make promises you can't keep. I, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned it all... As to have planned all this out. I don't know. Here, here's my experience of humans. They are smarter than they let on. All humans are smarter than they let on, first of all. So, the, 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 take, take that with a grain of salt. I let it alongside. Fine. I'll, st I'll stop by, but only for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. But I don't know, dude. If it's a pretty damn cu good cupcake, uh... I'd say that's totally worth that exchange. Because, like, I, like, what is the actual value of a soul, though? I don't know what the actual value of a soul is, but regardless, selling your soul for a cupcake, it better be the best damn cupcake ever, dude. In this case, I hope I, I think it is. I don't know. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school that's constantly destroyed, so I rarely visit it because it's used for those crazy-ass third-year fight clubs that usually crop up around this time of the year. And, you know, other activities that I don't want to talk about. And Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you don't call me a new member! Uh, I, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. She, You are literally all she ever talks about, dude. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. I'll be quiet. At least it's better than that. Whatever! Jones isn't that bad! Ah! Jones! What a nice surprise! Hi, Shodan! <laughs> That's my nickname for this one. It's gonna be Shodan now. Because, I'm, again, I'm doing a System Shock playthrough and... Oh, God. I think I'm sucking terribly at it. But regardless, uh, I think my commentary in this is much better than the, sh the System Shock one because I can make references to it, but whatever. So that's Shodan, and I need to come up with nicknames for these two. Uh, uh, 
Okay, so I'm shocked. Jones is completely shocked because standing before him is not one, not two, not three, but four actually attractive women. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, dude. All words do escape you in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? Well, I would say I'm looking at a loli, maybe. I don't know. I, I know for a fact you're not a loli, though. So, a tight girl? Give me a second to process this. Uh, that's me. Shit, what did I do? What did I do? Okay. Okay, so the middle mouse button takes away the text thing. Uh, I did not know that, actually. I just discovered that by accident. Okay. Uh, if you want to say something, say it. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Sorry, that's me trying to emulate. So, like, so Sorry. Natsuki. <coughs> Oof. Excuse me. Hump. Okay, now I got hiccups. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year, but she's not. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. I need a I need a nickname for you. God, I don't know what to call you. I know I, I know I might have two nicknames in mind for them. But Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll find nicknames for you three. Okay, Monica is Shodan because I suspect she, like again, based off of the other ones, I know she, I know she's into weird, weird stuff. I don't know. Again, I've already seen, I've already seen like the first half of this game, so so the Shodan nickname will make sense if you're just tuning in. But anyways, I'll get like into my whole actual theory when we cross that bridge. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. So is that energy, uh, I don't know, complete and utter aggressive rage? At me? And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Why, that's a compliment. I would love to be, I would love to be told if I'm the smartest person in the club. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's uh, nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! Of course I know Shodan already. She tried to take over an entire space station. Well, it has currently, but... Uh, I'll save the day! It's great to see you again, Jones. Yes. Again. For the first time. Monica smiles sweetly. How is that? How does that defy gravity? Damn it! Anime logic. We all we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but because you know he was trying to foil my plans. But we were in the same class, same class last year. You mean last episode? You bitch. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. And completely devoid of all ethics after I had a hand in that. Yeah, well, that's a story for another playthrough that's currently going on. I'll link it in the description down below! <clears throat> but basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little off-putting, strange, and downright creepy. You, you too, Monica! Now please, stop doing that weird pose. And, uh... Come, sit down, Jones. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. Sayori, you're the only one I'd ever sit next to. I'm speaking for Jones right there, because Jones is more familiar with uh, Sayori than Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. I had to do that because of a little squiggle thing right there, so that emphasizes that she's trying to do something like that. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I just got a bit, a little too excited. How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Now, see, here's the thing. Aren't desks just basically small tables? So I don't see... Uh, whatever. I'm not interior design, damn it. As Sayori mentioned, as Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki gets, grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Where they hide the dead bodies. <gasps> Sorry, I also know, like the atmosphere uh, around this game. Like I know like what's been said about this game. So naturally, I'm gonna make jokes like that. 
Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table train and... Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Reveal them. Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, I used to have two cats. Their names were Ivan and Zip. I think I mentioned this once, but uh, they're not with us anymore. Uh, with me anymore, and I miss them dearly. Ivan was this lovable fluff of muscle. Yes, he was muscle. He was all muscle. And Zip was an asshole. I love Zip the most. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Oh, that is adorable. And delicious! So cute! I can't do the cute thing. Like, it's just not my vocal range. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one before they... Uh, I don't know what happens to cupcakes before they get bland. Terry grabs one first, then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite, because, as you know, Jones is a hacker, therefore he's used to th taking things at multiple angles. Such as bullets and mutated humans! Did I mention he's the hacker? Uh, Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but feel but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. It means she likes you! Or she thinks you're a total creep, one of the two. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Well, um, I'd flip a coin there and the coin would probably say yes, so yes. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Uh, hang on, let me check Crunchyroll real, roll real fast and look up every single Sundari anime. Fuck it, I'm even watching Toradora right now. Like, I know the anime's been out for ages and all, but, like, I, I just started watching because I don't have anything else to watch. I finished watching Blood Blockade or Kick-Eye Sensing. God damn, that's a good anime. I also watched, uh, Recovery of an MMO Junkie, and I did enjoy it a little bit because the main character is a little bit relatable to me, but that's besides the point. I brought back a lot of memories of my Sworder days, Star Wars The Old Republic, for those of you who played it. Brought back a lot of memories of that. So there's, that's, 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 that, that, fuck, that's that story right there. I guess. They made them for you or anything. Uh huh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. But not for, you know, you, dummy. Got it. In the first, in my first recording of this, I botched the first recording because I wasn't happy with how it turned out, but I kept screwing up that sentence. I was like, but not for you. No, you. I was like, I was like messing up the rhythm of it. But anyways. All right. All right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. But you know the, what the logic is. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Isn't that illegal? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. But that, that's not insulted. I don't see how that's insulted. I'm probably flustered or... I don't know, would, would you be insulted if someone did that? I don't know. Like, maybe like that was maybe a breach of trust right there? But anyway, insulted Yuri looks away. Maybe that was like a breach of trust. Maybe she said something in confidence regarding Jones. I don't know. Jones, I don't know if Jones is that good looking, to be honest. I don't know. Anyways, I, I meant that, you know, I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but uh, I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yeah, who doesn't enjoy tea? Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Shodan! So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Uh... I was afraid of this question. I knew it was coming, but damn it, I came for a good cupcake, and that cupcake was good. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. 
make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Especially you, hacker. Monica, I'm so surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be the board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Now, it's kind of interesting, though, like... Uh... Way back when in high school, clubs did not operate like what's portrayed here at all. <clears throat> like, at all. And frankly, clubs are kind of boring, to be honest. I don't know, maybe I just joined all the wrong ones, or maybe none of the fun ones were only offered, but that's besides the point. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into the literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yes, all hail Shodan. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard starting a new club. You know, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the... Okay, fuck. Okay, hang on, hang on. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. You're not wrong about that, Shodan. You're not wrong. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Right. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Like, how? Like, I mean, you already have the bare minimum of club members required to keep and maintain a club. So I don't see why you really have to stress about it. Uh, whatever. But, anyways. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! Well, we'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. <clears throat> Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really... must have worked really hard to find these three. Yes, Shodan did indeed work very hard. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though... I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Come on, Jones! Have a little fun with this. So, Jones, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. <clears throat> Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. And not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. I don't think that's sanitary, but what do I know? My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. And I would make a joke about Lord of the Rings here, but I did that in the last time I tried recording for this. Really, I didn't like the way that jo those jokes came out. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her, li her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Right, like I find my comfort in the world of video games and not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Are you saying I don't have an imagination, Yuri? Are you saying me and Jones don't have imaginations? Are you saying that, Yuri? I need to know! Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Really? I'm currently playing a horror game! Oh my god, we have so much in common! <laughs> ah, I wrote a horror book once. It was called System Shock. I'm named after the main character. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation for Rock. Well, I'm not as chiseled as a rock. 
but I'm still a rock nonetheless. As I have the intelligence and the personality of a rock. I'm Jones the Rock Jonesson. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Yeah, that reminds me of a video I once saw called Die Fucking Fantasy. Don't watch that video. Please, dear God, do not look at that video. I regret even mentioning it now. But don't don't look at that video, man. It's, it, it's, it scars people. It scarred me for like an entire week. Ugh, I hate her horror. Okay, Natsuki, you're losing points with me and Jones here. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? He left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud, and uh, that's someone who's in the bathroom upstairs, in case yeah, you guys heard that with the microphone. This microphone picks up everything. Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine! <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Oh, please, dear God, don't take that out of context. Uh, I'm not cute! Right. I'll agree with you this one time. Natsuki, you wrote your own poems? Eh, well, I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think I think that's impressive, actually. Why, why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet, huh? Well, I wasn't a very confident hacker. Uh, especially when I tried hacking into a literal space station and then kind of got blackmailed and doing some stuff. I'm currently living in hell. Uh, but back, back to this. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. I'm sorry, I'm not that deep of, I'm not that deep to understand that that, that, that comment. Sorry, if I'm drinking a lot of water, I'm talking a lot. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Now, your counter-argument, sometimes it's best not to be 100% open. Like, th there is such a thing as privacy, you know? Well, that's me. You have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Yeah, that was expected as much. I guess it's the same for Yuri, too. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone! Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. I mean, Shodan. I mean, Monica. Please don't hurt me. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now we even have a new member. I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Jones? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem here. Shodan! Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... but... I'm sorry, I thought... Jones, you're an asshole. You all... I'm defenseless against these girls, because they are in fact women, and women are the single most dangerous predator on the planet. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Simple. 
You exit stage left window. Actually, I used to see a few. Uh, I used to have like this running joke where I'd exit through windows on uh, chats. And, like, and that was my time to. Yeah, that was the cue for me to exit stage window. So Jones, exit stage window specifically to the right. <coughs> that is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, Jones, you're gonna pay even worse of a price. Let me tell you. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Syria wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Okay, points with me right there. You got points with me and Jones again, Natsuki. You're, you're, you've broken even. Now then, it makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially call today's meeting... End today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring to the next to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Jones, I look very much forward to seeing how much you express yourself in this poem. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Jones, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore, because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! I can't do that. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do... I can't emote like that. I only have two emotions. It's, it's normal and pissed. That's it. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori... Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Now here I'm actually going to take a quick second and essentially spitball like one word to describe each girl. Or uh, uh, comment. Status quo. Never mind. Never mind. Forget that. Just status quo. Loli. Emo. Shodan. Okay. Now it's not going to be their uh, three... Nicknames, by the way, just phrases to describe what what they are. Well, I'd really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club. Perhaps I'll even have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Jones, don't get your hopes up. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. It won't. And I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever, with whoever likes your poem the most. So basically, you pick a word, and if the character jumps, they like it. So, for example, charm. Sayori likes the word charm. Okay. Uh, lucky. Okay, Sayori likes that one too. Let's go with... Promise. Okay. Treasure. Explode. Well, I figured like that'd be like maybe Natsuki in a sense, but okay. Headphones. Uh, climax. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. Uh, party. Let's go with games. Landscape. Uh, imagination. Okay. Laugh. Journey. Uh, memories. Extreme. Uh, wonderful. Nature. Special. Starscape. Hi again, Jones, and that's actually where where we're gonna leave off this episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little thing. And, uh, God, I hope this episode didn't drag on for too long, but I have a challenge for everyone. Write a shitty poem or whatever the fuck down in the comments below, and I'll write my own piece for the description. So you have to read it in order to see what I've written. And that also gives you a chance to go check out the other playthrough. So, have a good one.